Whether it be a new year, new semester, or new job, whenever I enter a new phase in my life, I want to begin on good footing. I know things will get busy and won't go as planned, but I at least try to start off feeling healthy, well-rested, and confident. And for that very reason, I've always struggled with this week's gospel. Jesus in the desert. Let's take it in context. It happens right after Jesus' baptism and before his entrance into public ministry. During his baptism, Jesus hears from the heavens, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. I imagine he feels as rejuvenated and prepared as ever to take on public ministry. And yet, Jesus defies my logic. He goes into the desert, spends 40 days alone, without food, resisting temptation from the devil. All of this immediately prior to entering the biggest challenge of his life to date. Why? It made no sense to me. So last Lent, I spent time in prayer with this passage and I received a little wake-up call from Jesus. Maybe it was never about entering public ministry from a place of confidence or pride. Maybe Jesus needed to hit his lowest point. He's tested. If you are the Son of God, prove yourself worthy. He's tempted. The world's riches and honors are yours, if only you worship me. And I imagine Jesus, exhausted and dejected, limping out of the desert, asking himself, who am I and how the heck can I ever do this? This, Jesus tells me in prayer, is when he knows he's ready to begin. Because in this place of humility, Jesus is reminded, his belovedness is not earned in riches, honors, or praise. He has nothing to prove. This knowledge will sustain Jesus through his public ministry and up into his death. There, but for the grace of God, go I. So as Lent begins this week, I pray for the grace of humility. I pray that we can go out into our own spiritual deserts, face doubt, and walk away. Maybe limping, but humbled and grounded in our belovedness. Only then can we follow Jesus' example and truly minister to others.